So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today we're gonna check out some fashion frame. People are constantly asking about my fashion frame, especially when I show off certain frames like Frost over here, Mag or even Valkyr. Now I do actually have a couple of fashion frame videos, but they are not on this channel, they are on my second channel which is called mcgamerCZ-Extra. But here's the thing, not a lot of people actually know about that channel and even fewer people subscribe, which is definitely understandable because why would you subscribe to a channel that uploads like one or two videos a month and most of the time these videos are unedited, they are rambly and overall just kind of garbage. So you only go there if you want to know the cosmetics and the colors, that's pretty much it. But as the channel grows, more people subscribe and I release more videos with these frames, more and more people start asking about my fashion frame. So what I did is I picked the most requested frames and we're gonna check them out one by one, starting off with my favorite Rhino Prime. So I'm using the Thrak helmet, which I think looks really nice with the Deluxe skin, which is the Palatine skin. And I'm using this one because it just looks nice and it also hides Iron skin, which is a nice little bonus. For the primary color, I'm using classic white. For the secondary and accent colors, I'm using classic black. For the tertiary color, I'm using Orokin orange, the one in the middle right here. And finally, for energy, I'm using a slightly lighter version of the Orokin orange. Then for the attachments, I'm running a full set of the Kuva armor, which I think looks incredibly nice with the Palatine skin. And the colors are the same as they are on the Warframe, so you can just copy them over. For the Siandana, I am using the Repala Siandana, which I'm a massive fan of. It is a Tenogen Siandana, but it is a fantastic looking cloak that has really good physics. And a nice bit of detail as well. Now the colors are a little bit different, the primary is classic black once again, but for the secondary I'm using Halloween orange which is far more vibrant than the Orokin one, but if you don't have this one you can just use the Orokin one instead. Then I'm using Orokin white which is a little bit brighter than the normal one, but you can use classic as well. Then for accents we have classic black and finally for energy I'm using the Orokin bright orange. And finally, let's check out the regalia because it actually does matter on this one. So on the right shoulder pad, I'm using the index emblem. On the left shoulder pad, I'm using the Rathum emblem. And finally, I am using the Voidgate sigil on the front. And I'm not quite sure where you get this one anymore, but I think it's a login reward. But it is a fairly high login reward. I think it's around four or five hundred days. Next up, we have Mr. Edgelord himself, Necros Prime. So here I'm using the Tenogen Lazarus helmet because, oh my god, look at it. It looks so good. As soon as I saw it, I was like, yep, I need to buy this. And I bought it immediately as soon as it came out. And I'm also using the Immortal skin rather than the Prime skin or the original Necro skin. And that's mostly because I just like the color distribution of the Immortal skin far more. Also, I'm using the Vault Noble animation set because the posture looks really nice with Necros. Now the colors here are very simple, primary, secondary and tertiary are all classic black and accents with energy are the darkest Halloween red. And the attachments I'm using are the Embolis chest growth for the chest piece and the rest is the Nidina set, so I'm using both shoulder plates and both leg plates. Now since this is Mr. Edgelord himself, we of course have to add Mortos Binds as well, which is a necro specific accessory and the colors are even darker here, so the primary, secondary, accents and energy are all classic black and only the tertiary is once again the darkest Halloween red. Next up is the Siandana and no surprise I'm using the Repal Siandana once again because I mean look at it, it's so pretty. The primary accents and energy colors are all classic black and the secondary and tertiary are the darkest Halloween red once again. The regalia on this one isn't that important, but I want to at least mention the Katir Shikara, which is an accessory you can buy from Baraket Tier. And all this does with the color setup that I'm using is just add a nice red hue over both shoulder plates. Moving on to Mac Prime, and I'm very proud of this one, I think it looks really cool and a lot of people seem to agree. So first up, I am using a Tenogen skin for both the helmet and the normal skin called the Alata skin, which just looks really nice, does it not? I do have the prime details turned on, which for this skin means basically two floating things around her waist, that's it. The primary color is classic white, the secondary color is the darkest Halloween red, the tertiary and accent colors are both classic black and I've left the energy to be default. Now the attachments I'm using are the Kuva chest plate for the chest piece, which I think fits the set really well. I'm using Mac Prime armor for both shoulder plates and the portal leg plates for both legs. Now the colors here are a little bit different, so the primary is classic black, the secondary is still the darkest Halloween red, but the tertiary one is classic white, 
Then we have accents, which are once again classic black, and the energy color is classic gray, it's the one in the middle. And onto the Ciandana we go. I'm using a Tenogen Jatuk Mantle, which is a jetpack, which took just fabulous. I was like, yep, this is going to fit my Mac Prime really well. I'm actually using it on multiple frames, but I think it fits Mac really well. And it's using the same colors as the attachment, so you can just copy the attachment colors. Now for the Regalia, I'm using my Clan Emblem on both shoulder pads, but it doesn't really fit, so I'm probably gonna change it. The important thing here, though, is the frontal sigil. I'm using the Zanuka sigil, which looks fabulous if you use the darkest halloween red i mean look at it it looks just really nice especially with the blue energy color around it and onto frost prime we go now a lot of people seem to like this one as well and people often mention that they really like how i managed to get the deluxe skin to work with another helmet which is pretty hard because the deluxe helmet is really big and even though it does kind of work with the aurora helmet there is still a little bit of clipping around the neck part so as I've mentioned already, I'm using the Aurora helmet, which is the one you just get from Alert, so it's not hard to get at all. I'm using the Harka skin, which is the deluxe skin for Frost Prime. Now I do like the Harka helmet as well, but it's just far too big for my liking. Now the colors here are even simpler than before. Primary, Tertiary, Accents and Energy are all classic black and secondary is Orokin white, which is slightly brighter than the classic white, but if you don't have the Orokin colors, just use a classic one. It's not that big of a difference. The attachments are pretty straightforward as well. I'm using a full set of Avia armor and I just copied the colors from the Warframe. Next up, we have a huge surprise because for once I'm using the Repala Siandana and I once again just copied the Warframe colors to the Siandana. And finally, we have the Regalia. So I'm using the Ambulus Reborn emblems on both shoulder pads. I think they fit the Ivia shoulder pads really well. And I'm also using the Ambulus Reborn sigil on the front. Now here, the sigil is kind of gray, but it is much brighter in game. And I think it looks really nice. It adds a nice bit of detail to the chest piece. And the final frame we're going to take a look at today is indeed the Valkyrie, which kind of looks like the normal Valkyrie, but I added a little bit of extra detail via the attachments. And I also added a little bit of black to create contrast because, in my opinion, the original look of Valkyr Prime was far too bright. So for my Valkyrie Prime, I'm using the standard Valkyr Prime helmet and Valkyr Prime skin, but I'm using the Valkyr Noble animation set, which just has far better posture, in my opinion. The colors are pretty straightforward. The primary one is classic black. And both the secondary and tertiary are classic white, with the accents and energy being default. Now for Valkyr, I'm not using any chest piece because they just don't look very nice. I'm using Rivalid guards on both arms, Kuva leg plates on both legs, and of course I'm using Cordala Prime, which is a Valkyr specific accessory. And I've once again just copied the colors from the Warframe onto the accessory, so there is no change there. Now, this is one of the few Warframes where I don't use the cloak because I think the Igaro Siandana fits Valkyr Prime much better. And the colors are once again the same, so you can just copy over the main colors or even the attachment colors. And for the Regalia, I'm just using Ketir Shikara on both shoulder blades, which looks kind of nice. It adds a little bit of blue on each side. So there you go, guys. A proper fashion frame video without me slurring my words and being tired and rambling on. So I hope you have enjoyed it. I thank you very much for watching. As always, guys... And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.